All right, welcome back. Um, we're going to be looking at the apical four chamber, and we're going to look at three examples of a normal left ventricular function. Uh, this is in the hopes that you can appreciate uh, three different um, normals, so that as you pick up scanning that you can um, discern the difference. So remember our binary questions are, is the left ventricular function normal? If the answer is yes, you can move on. If it's not, then you need to ask yourself, is the left ventricular function severely depressed? In this case, they're all going to be normal, so we're going to stop with that first question. We're going to go ahead and look at this, uh, this example here. Go ahead and uh, refer to the diagram up in the right-hand corner so that you can get your anatomy down. And remember that we're going to put the um, probe in about the true nipple line um, over on the left. We're going to feel for that PMI. If we can't feel, for, feel it, uh, we'll set it right inferior to the um, true nipple. In the women, it's best up under the breast fold. And we're going to aim that back towards the manubrium. And we want to get uh, essentially get it right at the apex of the heart like we have here. And we want to um, get all four chambers in plane. By finding the, mit the mitral and tricuspid valves, we know we're in plane. And so what we can do is we can appreciate here when we look at this left ventricle, all the way around. The chamber size is decreasing uh, well. It's got good collapse um, and also um, and so when we look at that chamber size it helps us know that there's a good ejection fraction. Additionally, um, which we'll talk about at a later time uh, about the EPSS, but you can look at this mitral valve and it's relaxing while it's slapping the wall. So this left ventricle is definitely compliant, willing to accept a lot of blood. That means it's got to kick out enough blood to accept the blood. Um, so that's typically uh, uh, a secondary sign of um, a good ejection fraction. Uh, we're going to see another example here. Here's another um, uh, example. Our, our game could be a little bit better up here, but we can see this inner wall. We can see that the, there's good collapse. All of it's coming together well. Um, we can again see the mitral valve well moving well. So this area also is a normal ejection fraction. And last but not least, we've got uh, an additional one here. Now what we could do to improve this image is we could drag a little bit to the patient's left and then aim back towards the manubrium a little. That would get it to stand up a little more like the last two examples. Um, but we can see here that the uh, chamber is decreasing well in size and that the uh, mitral valve is sla uh, anterior leaflets slapping up against that wall, uh, which is that secondary sign of a good ejection fraction. So go ahead and burn these into your mind um, of what a normal ejection fraction looks like of the left ventricle. Um, I will say that when I when I teach uh, residents and students, this is the most difficult view for them to estimate the EF. They almost always underestimate it because they're used to seeing a more of a concentric collapse, um, whereas this is um, a more of a global function. But go ahead and remember these. These this is clearly a normal ejection fraction on these last uh, three examples. Uh, feel free to let me know if you have any questions or. Um, if you need any more examples posted of uh, apical 4 with a normal ejection fraction. Thanks for watching.